Once upon a time, there were four young women of virtue in modern London who were looking for four young men of virtue to say those four wonderful words. Date me, marry me. <laughs> possible to find the perfect match and get married too? We're desperate. I'm Sharon Marshall. I'm the co-author of The Naughty Girl's Guide to Life with Tara Palmer Tonkinson, which is a guide to how to date, and how to be naughty, and how to get the best out of your men. I also wrote The Sun Column, No Sex in the City, which I tend to moan about how bad British men are. Now, girls, you've got to take this dating lark seriously. There are six billion people out there. Surely one of them is going to want to sleep with you. I do believe that all these girls are dateable, but the thing is, they're probably doing things that are completely wrong. They're not hideous, they're not Quasimodos, they should be able to get themselves a man. So what I'm going to do is watch them in action and tell them what it is that is putting off every single man that they meet. Oh, you know. The road to love is littered with potholes. I don't know, I can't really explain it properly. I don't like, in a, in a guy, what I look for, first of all, is he has to be really well-mannered. Like, he has to say, say please and thank you, speak properly, not swear. I can't stand men that swear. I just, I just hate that. Am I, am I a snob? Unless they swear, they can swear in bed, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What do we think of it? <laughs> hopeless romantic, yes. Yeah, hopeless romantic, looking for Prince Charming. Yeah, Hi, my name's it. Stephanie. I'm 24 years old, and um, I'm from Hertfordshire, <laughs> and I'm in a girl band called The Scarlets. I've been singing for about a year now. Uh, my last relationship lasted for two years, but we were more like friends, and I think it became more of a habit as well. I said it his a lot, and I ended up kind of moving all my stuff in. Um, and then we just realized that it wasn't working, we're just friends, and it was time to go our separate ways. I think the first person to get married will definitely be me. I personally have this, this theory that if you're meant to meet somebody, you know, it's kind of fate, it's destiny. And, you know, like they say, you, love falls into your lap when you least expect it. <laughs> it's the mentality that you're in because when I, when I split up with my ex-boyfriend, I really was just feeling really depressed and I was like, oh, I'll never get anyone. I literally went for the worst guys possible that I have never been treated so badly in my entire life. I never thought it was possible to be treated that badly. Yeah, you really did. Like one yeah. after the other, after the other, after the other, and I was just like... But I'm saying when I split up with that boy, I then went for a load of twats. All of them were such assholes, like to the extreme. And I just think now I'm in a place where I'm like, can't be bothered. Because you know when you're just on a mission to just have fun, you've been in a relationship for such a long time, just whatever, whatever's coming to me, I'll just Take go for it. But I don't have bad dates. My name's Katia. Um, I'm under 25. I'm not going to say my age because a lady never tells her age. So I'll... Um, let everyone guess. Um, I am currently in a, in a girl band called The Scarlets. La, 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 la. The sort of guy that I would like to find is someone that, firstly, he's, he's got to be funny. He's got to make me laugh. And, you know, I, I like to laugh. It's, my, it's one of my favourite things to do. <laughs> what does that mean? So he's got to have a nice face, you know. I don't want a guy that's weak. He's got to be strong. And here they are, the toughest bunch of guys this side of Chicago. I think everyone everyone goes for someone that's a little bit like them. I, I know exactly what a guy's going to be like. Because if they text you back and they're saying nice things and they say, would you like to go out on a date next week when you've already been on a date and they book you in advance, I think that's a good guy. Whereas the ones that just sort of, you know, ring you up at the last minute and go, hey, should we go out? I know those are the ones that just want something, you know, naughty. One thing, I always look at a guy's shoes. I don't know why I do that. But I always look at the guy's shoes. The shoes, I'm a big thing on guy's shoes. 
if they're not up to scratch, then it puts me off a little bit. But then you kind of think, well, you could always take them shopping and try and get them some nice shoes. <laughs> I'm really not explaining this very well, but you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't, I wouldn't ever go for a guy that was, oh. Do you know what I mean? We're, it's the time of the month, and I, this is what happens to me. I can't even speak. Ideally, I would like to find somebody that I can settle down with. No. Definitely not. The wedding would be enormous, like, out of this world, and OK would be falling over themselves to pay me to get shots of it. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm single because my last relationship didn't work out, and um, I've been giving myself a break, but I'm back in the driving seat, so... This is all looking quite promising. He's handsome, Steph. A little face lit up. Nice little showbiz kiss there. Very continental. And they've both really scrubbed up for the day. Oh, not sure about the, um, the old Top Gun jackets going on, but, you know, nice bit of matching leather loving going there. And in the go, the restaurant looks great. This could go really well. He's really handsome. He's clearly ironed, and she's brushed her hair, and they're both beaming at each other. This could be love. This is a really nice restaurant. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, my parents were missionaries going back in the in the eighties, and uh, they sort of did a, a lot of work in Zimbabwe. So I was I was brought up on um, sort of lifestyle of this place and the food they serve as well. Actually, Steph is doing very well here because the. The good thing to do on a first date is let the guy ramble on about himself. What you should do as a girl is just, you don't even have to listen, you just nod occasionally, which she's doing, and let him ramble on and tell you. What you need to do is give a little preview, a little snippet about yourself to keep him hooked and to make him feel that, you know, there's a little bit more to come. I'm, I'm in a band. <laughs> You're in a band? Yeah, a girl oh, group. Right. So, what are they called? Then? Scarlet. Oh, right, brilliant, yeah. Yeah, we're like, we're not like a pop group. We're quite, you know, I play the instrument. I play yeah. the piano and violin and things like that, so. Awesome. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, far away, anything you like. Are you married? Oh, no, this is my, uh, this is my promise ring. All ah, right. It's yeah. a promise ring. It's, um, how can I explain it? You give your word sort of not to uh, dwell into sort of sexual relationship before, before marriage. Okay. So almost say I'm uh, married to God, if you like. Oh, OK, OK, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm not sure this is going to work. Um, not the sort of jewellery that I suspect Steph likes to be shown. Um, promise ring. Ooh. So what, you, you believe in marriage before you have sex? I believe in... No sex before marriage. Okay. It's a sin. It is a sin. Really? Yeah, well, yeah. He's going to wait till the big day. He wants a virgin for his big day. I don't think he's going to get it in our Steph. I'm sorry. I'm just guessing, darling. I'm just guessing with that maybe you're a sort of third date sort of girl. Um, I'm not sure she's going to wait till she's wearing white. I don't think she can wear white on the big day. Maybe an offshoot of... Beige. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't follow a certain religion at all. I'm like quite spiritual. So you haven't found God, no? No. You will. You will. You, you will come. I went to Thailand a couple of years ago, and um, like I had a detox there, and I met a lot of people, and I kind of swayed more towards Buddhism and being spiritual and Buddhism. Yeah. That's one of those pagan religions, isn't it? It's sort of a... I don't, what's pagan mean? Mm. It's sort of, um, it's, again, it's sort of uh, devil-related. Mm. Should order a drink? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Non-alcoholic would be nice. Uh, OK, I quite fancy some wine. Oh, this is a nightmare day for Steph. I mean, he's just sitting there reeking with disapproval for everything that she loves and stands for. You know, she, this girl wants to be in a band. Um, he thinks it's the devil's music. Um, she can't drink. The guy's teetotal. I mean, it's great that he's got his beliefs. It, it's great that he's, he sticks by that. But he's just making her feel so bad throughout this whole date. Well, I'm not getting uh, drunk. OK. OK, a little bit 
arrogant, this sort of thing. He needs to work on his manners. I just think he's, he's so ill-mannered. He thinks he's amazing and so much better than her, but his manners are just appalling. Um, I would have socked him if he'd done that. I would have literally socked him, and it's full marks on Steph that she didn't respond by turning around and just going like that, to be honest. So here come our potential bride and groom. Um, Katia looks lovely, actually. Oh, how old is he? <laughs> is he legal? I, I would actually throw him back in the water for a few more years until he was ready. I think she's going to eat him alive. Bless him, he's like a little boy. Did you come a long way? Uh, not too far, just about an hour away. Where did you come from? Wembley. Wembley? Yeah. Bloody hell, that's miles. It's not that far. Mm, it's God. not that far. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. There's your wine list. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you like to choose? Yeah, could That's do. the man's job. Um, cute. Um, I think there might be a bit of a fight in the mornings in the bathroom for the hairspray, though. I don't think he's her type. What kind of wine do you drink? Red. Red? Cool. <laughs> what do you drink? I don't. <laughs> now, this is going to be a little bit tricky. If our girl likes a bit of a drink, um, it's hard to go out with a teetotaler. He's going to remember everything you did the night before. I mean, maybe he's not actually legal, and maybe he's not quite 18 yet, and that's why he hasn't got the drink. What would you like? Do you want to go first? Um, can I get the risotto, please? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, I'll go for the prime Angus burger. With cheese. How would you like it cooked? Um, medium. With any cheese, bacon, egg, or anything like that? Uh, cheese. Cheese? Is this the girl who said she's never had a bad day? <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm, so how long is the band been running for? Two years. Really? Yeah, long time. Have you, are you signed or...? Almost. It's, there's something on the table, but we have to, like, speak to lawyers and stuff and sort really? of get it. Yeah. Because well, it's a massive people. contract. It's, like, 47 pages long. 47? 47, and I do not understand a word it says. It's yeah. so gobbledygook. I didn't even bother reading it. I read the first page and I was like, no, <laughs> I can't be bothered. It's too, oh, too complicated. I've got... Two sisters. I did all my grades and you know ballet tap, but modern and jazz. So she left, and then we auditioned for just one more girl instead of two. I wanted to be an actress. Okay. And this was up until I was about 16. Or well, like basically took over my life. I didn't actually want to do it. Yeah. So yeah, they left after three days. Yeah, I think a, boy a boyfriend was. A bit jealous. In yeah. They were okay. doing a house performance. It's not like we've never done it. Yeah. So he did not like it. Yeah, People so, don't yeah. know how much work has to go into it. I went <laughs> to a stage school in Leeds. One was really religious. Ooh, Katia. Shut up. Shut up, woman. Hold back. Rain back. You're supposed to. Oh, you're supposed to ask him some questions. I mean. Who is this guy? What does he do? What does he think of? What are his hopes? What are his... We have no idea because all we hear is Katya and her band. Excuse me, are you ready? Hello, um, I'm just about. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, yeah. Um, can I uh, ask, please, um, the love bug salad? The sort of bugs. Oh, cricket. Very, yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah, I love cricket. It's quite spicy. It's quite yeah. hot, but it's very nice. Brilliant. Can I have the, um, let me see, the zebra? This yeah. one here, yeah. The, yeah. 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 Zebra seared with uh, zebra. Yes. Seared with a pork, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the love bug salad for a starter with extra bugs, please. No problem. Thank you very much. Yeah, and for you. Um, can I get the gigolos packet, please? But can I have the vegetarian version? Yes. And um, nice. the Sagan seduction, but the vegetarian version, please. No problem. This is just. And also, can I say, you've been banging on, being all holier than thou about, I don't drink and I don't ever have sex and I don't do this and I'm better than you and you're the devil's music. She's vegetarian, love. You're munching your way through the entire cast of some creepy, crawly film there. Mm, I'm so do you want to say uh, prayer or shall I? Um, oh, before we start. This is a nightmare. Yeah, OK. No yeah. OK, so, uh, our Father, who yeah. art in heaven, we are truly thankful for this bounty that we are about to receive. Amen. Um, 
I'm not sure that this is going to be a match that's made in heaven. Amen. <laughs> OK, brilliant. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Oh. This looks really good. Oh. There's more or less uh, raised on this stuff in Zimbabwe. It's all hanging out of his mouth. He's got, oh, it's disgusting. I would actually go and pretend to powder my nose at this point, and I would be leaving by the back door. The guy... Oh, Steph, he is not for you. Run! Save yourself! Save yourself from the little boogie can freak! Yo, run! Oh, beautiful. Lovely. That looks absolutely divine. See that? Black curry sauce and kawaii. This is Chinese fish. Chinese is it? Beautiful. I'm sure I will. Thank you very much. Cheers. There. Tuck in. It's all good though. Oh. It's awesome. Mm. Right, honey. <laughs> I know you say you're a vegetarian, but if you think about it, a zebra is just like a giant vegetable, except it has it's like a heart and legs <laughs> and a cries in it. Uh, have you read the uh, Life on Plants? They say plants cry. You still eat them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder which part of the zebra is actually... Sorry, I just... I sit here and I listen to your views about Christianity and I'm being respectful and you know I'm a vegetarian and you're being an absolute prick eating that, making stupid jokes. I don't need this. Oh, my God. The guy is a complete moron. Can we just appreciate the fact that he expected me to sit there and watch him eat zebra? Yes, zebra, black and white stripes zebra and just like he was making his jokes and he thought it was funny and yet he sat there before and started speaking about christianity and how like the lord jesus this let's let's say grace hold my hand um, i'm sorry but the guy didn't have any respect for me he was rude and i'm just i'm sorry he's an absolute freak an absolute freak and i do not swear but i want to say he's a fucking prick so i say i um i took the liberty of ordering dessert as a Bit of an apology for the, uh, the, the zebra uh, remarks. Okay, so I hope you like it. Oh, and here, here we are. Lovely. Thank you very Thank much. You. That's your dessert. Some scorpions. Beautiful. Mm. And here's your wine set. Yeah, you'd like it, I think. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. That good? No, oh, that's actually really good. I'm sorry, I said God again. <laughs> I'll let you off this time. <laughs> Actually, credit to Steph there, because I would have kept on walking. I would have been in a cab before he didn't realise I'd left the table. But she's, she's come back and um, she's given the chocolate-covered scorpion a go. I mean, she's really trying on this day. I don't think he is. He's not prepared to bend one iota about any of his beliefs or what he believes is right. But she's trying. She is eating a scorpion and she's a vegetarian. OK, it's covered in chocolate, but, you know, she's still giving it a go. Oh, you want to try bacon, love, you know? I think today went pretty well, if you ask me. It's all good. Uh, actually, I, I've brought something along for you, if you don't mind. My grand gave it to me, sort of handed down from generation to generation. She uh, gave it to me before she died of the pox. Aww. Yeah. Okay. I washed it. It's, it's not covered in pox or anything. <laughs> Thanks. OK? I hope you sort of take that away. And, and again, I'm really sorry about the zebra thing. They're, they're a wonderful creature and... You know, they've got emotions and everything else like us, so... Yeah, don't worry, it's fine. Yeah? OK, um, he's uh, given her a little gift there, a family heirloom, um, statue of Jesus. Um, 
nice touch. He clearly thinks the date went really well. Little tip for you. Diamonds are better in future. Um, I don't think she's going to be calling you, sweetheart. I mean, basically, you went out, you preached at her, you disapproved, you ate several endangered species of animal and she's vegetarian. And, um, yeah, and you gave her that. She isn't going to call. It's hard work, but I just can't see myself doing anything else, so I don't mind the hard work, really. Yeah, no, So tell me about your business. Mm-hmm. Really big bite. I shouldn't have taken that much. He's just sitting there shoving burger down his gullet because he can't get a word in edge raise. So, tell me about your business. Um, well, no, it's fine. Well, it is, yeah. Helping people get into the modeling industry. Mm. <laughs> Can you, can you hold on a minute? I just need to go to the mm. toilet. It could be anyone in front of her. She has no idea. He hasn't said an entire word throughout the entire meal other than hello. And then she's been off. <sighs> One minute. Right. So sorry, I'm not, not being rude. I'm just dying for the toilet. Let's go. I'll see you in a sec. Okay. So, tell me all about it. I mean, sweet, but okay. I don't know. It's just a bit awkward, isn't it? Well, when I sat you down, I thought he's a little bit too. Well, mind you, I don't like pretty boys, but he was a bit too sort of prim and pop, proper looking, um, and maybe a bit young. Is, how old is he? I don't know. I think he's about twenty-four. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Was it weird being served in yeah, a restaurant really where we weird. work? I hope he doesn't. Does he know? Does he know? Did I make it obvious? No. And I, when I put the plate down, I was like, he go hun. I know, and I realised. Oh, I think it was shit. shit. <laughs> I'm really against, like, sloppy eaters. I know. And as soon as he did, I mean, he was really sweet and everything, but as soon as that burger went in, I was like, oh, no! <laughs> I actually started pissing myself. Oh, it was so embarrassing. I did see him put a massive bite in his mouth. And when I, when I took your order, I was like, sorry, but who on a date orders a burger? Well, you see, I didn't think about that until it came, and I was like, Bloody hell, that's one hell of a burger. There we go. Date's finished. Bless him. I don't think that's gone well. It's it's a little formal kiss goodbye. No, I love you. No, I'll call you. No, we're going to get married. Um, no, separate ways. Actually, I think it's probably past his bedtime. Next week on Date Me, Marry Me.